Gentlemen, boys and girls, turn off your cell phones, come back from the concessions, because it's now time for your feature presentation as Mr. Center Stage, the marquee player himself of ISPW, the franchise. Frankie Morales welcomes you to a, the premiere edition of ISPW's Threshold. Now you may be wondering why this is called Threshold, and aside from the usual, you know, because wrestling moves, holds, you know, maneuvers, there's the fact that we're reaching the edge the climax, the limit, the verge of the countdown that is to Summer Rumble 2009, Saturday, July 11th in the 3-2 Count Athletic Facility in Freehold, New Jersey. This momentous event will crown a new ISPW champion in a 20-man rumble that is main eventing in the show after the retirement of Danny Inferno. And we invite you to experience difference firsthand that night. Now, nah, you may be wondering now, Frankie, what do you mean by experiencing the difference? Well, let me put it into perspective for you. On this side, you have those guys that tell you to cross the line. On this side, you have those guys that tell you anything can happen. In front of me, there's those guys that say, hey, we take no prisoners. And then behind me are all the guys saying, hey, we can also wrestle. We're also tearing up the charts. No offense to those guys. But what are you doing that's different than ISPW? I mean, we don't just patch together people and throw them into the ring. No, no. We operate on every cylinder with some of the best unsigned talent on the East Coast. We bring you comedy, suspense, action, thrills, cliffhangers. Ex uh, did I mention excitement? Because I'm, I'm excited right now. I probably mentioned it twice. For all of you to see... Delivering on every cylinder known to man to make sure that you're enjoying the experience that is ISPW and Summer Rumble will be no different, especially when you see the jam-packed card that we have from top to bottom. Now, aside from the 20-man Rumble that is headlining the event, and which we'll get into in a bit, there are other matches that just will probably captivate and maybe even steal the show, especially this one that pits Chase Del Monte against H.C. Loke. Now... Chase Del Monte made his debut at ISPW's Highway Robbery in very impressive fashion by defeating the escort in the middle of the ring with moves I don't think I've ever truly seen before. Encounters that are more impressive to say the least, which, in, which earned them the name, the nickname for me at the announce table as the inspiration for innovation. And if you ask me, he's our difference maker right now here at ISPW. Then again, there's another man looking to make a difference in his career. Falling on hard times and showing a bit of a different state of mind, or so the rumors in the locker room will say, H.C. Loke, the former ECW veteran, is looking to win back his pride. The last time we saw this individual, he was hired as a hitman, so to speak, for general manager Nicholas Nice, in which he tried to take out Nunzio and didn't come out successful on that end. What is there left for H.C. Loke to do but to gain back the, the, the streak he once had and showing the definition of extreme against Chase Del Monte? You know, given the two, just look at the two. They obviously show a different characteristic between each other. The harder street-like edge of H.C. Loke and the more freestyle, kind of living with the mentality of how he wrestles Chase Del Monte. Who knows what kind of match we're going to see here, but... My sources say that it's going to be an extremely high-flying affair given the history of both men, and it'll be fast-paced, moving, and probably one, certainly, that you cannot miss at Summer Rumble 2009. And speaking of matches you cannot miss, the last time these youngsters stepped into the ring, they pretty much stole the show and broke up a tag team known as Danny Doring and Christian York. I'm talking about New England's Logan Brothers, straight out of Boston, these guys have made a name for themselves in the tag team ranks up and down the East Coast, and they're bringing it back to ISPW as they return to take on St. Stronco and Maurizio Bocara. Now, we look at their high-flying abilities, the way they move in the ring, the way they work well together, being brothers. You know, their style is kind of likened to the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Eric. They're in them the nickname for me as the New England Nor'easters. But will that be enough of a storm to take down Stronko and Bokara? Let's talk about them for a bit. Stronko is a former OVW talent, Ohio Valley Wrestling, you know, the same organization associated in breeding the talent that comes up to the WWE. And he wrestled alongside Vladimir Kozlov and Santino Morel, as they're now known in World Wrestling Entertainment. 
That's a pretty impressive resume for Stronko, a Russian with an attitude, a former amateur wrestler background, with a former amateur wrestling background. This guy could probably maul you apart and probably ground the high-flying work of the Logan brothers. And while we don't know much about his partner, Bokara, I'm pretty sure probably the same could be said. I mean, they're probably cut from the same cloth and looking to tear apart the Logan brothers limb from limb and making sure that all the girls who are ooing and eyeing over them don't see much li many more limbs to ooh and ogle over. I mean, this is a true, true battle, David versus Goliath, in the sense that his speed, agility versus power and strength. What comes out of this match? Who knows? But it's certainly going to be an impressive affair of Styles Clash, uh, uh, not too much unlike the one that we just previously mentioned.